after we finished the invoice preview so our invoice is ready to go so we can hide this shit so even if, if it's hidden it will still work now we need to add one more tab and let's call it sales so basically we will use this tab to track the invoices and track if uh, customers are paying on time for the invoices So this will be headers of our shit and now let's remove this one next what we need to do is to add the script to our mural sheet so let's go here and the extensions App script I'll link the script in the description so you will need to copy all this code and just simply remove the existing and replace it with this code from the from the link in the description but one more thing to add we need to replace this sheet IDs with actual numbers so for example we have settings so we need to go to the settings and see that we have sheet ID 0 so that's ok next we have customers and the ID will be this number so let's find the customers here it is next invoice data we will copy this data and so on Okay, we're done now, so let's hide this uh, sheets and let's click save. After, after we save, we need to give uh, permission for script to act on our, on our behalf. So actually we can select on, on open and click run. It is asking us for authorization. So review permissions yeah so let's click the select an account so on this step we need to click advanced so as you can see that google says that google hasn't verified this app and it's okay because this is the script we are using inside our project so it's normal that google hasn't verified for, uh, this app so what we need to do, we need to just simply click the go to untitled on save. And yeah, you will see that this will say what this script can do. So let's click allow. All right. So now we can close this tab. So we see that we have a new menu item called invoicing. And if we click it, we can see that we have two new functions. So first is add invoice to sales table and another one is send invoice email for now we will use add invoice to sales table so we can experiment and click it now so we see that it will add the invoice data details to our um, to this table so let's go and change the invoice number to two and we can change the customer and again we can add invoice all right so yeah so we see that it added the details all the details about invoices so the total amount the due date and is this invoice is paid or not okay but now let's remove this and this also so what i want to do here i want to uh, check if the invoice is uh, overdue or it's paid on on time so first let's write array formula and here we'll add if the g to g 
is less than today, then we will say that it's overdue. Otherwise, it will be empty. So yeah, it says that it's overdue, but like, okay, so one more thing, one more time, let's add an invoice number one. So yeah, so it says that it's overdue because like the date, today's date will be this. And you see that it's dynamically changed. Now let's add if the invoice is paid or not. So um, let's use the data validation. Add the rule. So we'll have drop down of yes and no. Advanced options, arrow, done. So now we have like drop down of the status of the invoice. So for example, if the customer is paid, so we can simply change the status, the paid status to yes. And this overdue should change. So, but we see that it's still overdue. No, so let's let's add some more validation here. So let's say first, let's say if g to g is is not empty, then validate our code, our shit. So all right. So if Otherwise, it will be empty. So yeah. So if there is no information about the date, so it will just return an empty. And another one, if the if H to H is no, then please validate our dates. Otherwise, just return an empty string all right so here yeah, as, as we can see this uh, overdue text has gone so if we change the null again it's, it appears here so simply this will allow us to track if the customer uh, has paid their invoice and is their is their invoice overdue or not so we can send them a reminder that they have unpaid bills okay so what we need to do again we can we can remove this one all right and we can simply hide the first row first row because it it uses the formula so we can simply click hide row and yeah and we can format it a bit So one more time, for example, let's say we have an invoice number one and we want to add it to the sales table. Yeah, and we see that this information automatically came, comes here. So, okay, so let's change the date for today. So like the due date will be today's date and invoice number two and let's change the customer and again add invoice to the table yeah and we see that it's it does not have overdue status because the date is not less than today so if we'll change the date to 9th of, of january so we'll see that it automatically uh, says that it's overdue so if we have this type of date and today we see that it's not overdue but if we'll come tomorrow to this google sheets we'll see that the status will be overdue so it like dynamically checks the date every day and yeah and if we see that we've received the payment so we can change the status to paid and it will and this message will gone will be gone okay after after we have this table set so 
let's do one more thing. Let's go back to the invoice data and add some hint to our daily routine. So just add one more column to the right. Okay, let's format it a bit. So remove the data validation. Now, when I'm in this tab, I don't know if this invoice already was, if this invoice number was already taken or not. So I need to go and check for the sales. Okay, I see that it's already exists. So I need to change number three. And again, if I change, uh, if I changed this to number three, I'm not sure if there are any products for this invoice. So I need to go and check. Uh, okay, so I need to add some products and so on, so on, so. And one more time, I would like to not forget to uh, change the invoice date. So um, I would love to see if if their invoice date is not passed. Okay. First, I'll check these dates. If those dates are not less than today. So in case these dates uh, are less than today, so it will show me a warning message. So yeah, so now we see that it's good to go. So and uh, it checks the dates, but for example, if we'll change one of the dates to the previous date, it shows us that please check the invoice date. So yeah, next let's check the products for this invoice number. So we need to check if, the, if there are any products for the invoice number three. Now you can see that it says that no product added for this invoice. So if we go back here and we add some kind of cup 5650, it says good to go. So it checks the dynamically checks if there is product for this invoice. Let's change it to um, invoice number two. At the moment it says good to go, but we know that we already used this uh, invoice number, so we need to check this also. Okay, so now we see that if their invoice number is already taken, we have this message. And if we'll change it to number three, it says good to go. If we change it to number four, it says no product added to the invoice. Okay, and if we'll change the dates, for example, this one, it says please check the invoice uh, dates. 
So let's add some condition formatting. Oh yeah, as you can see, we've, we've added four rules. All right, we can close this one. And one more thing, let's do the text wrap. So at this point, our invoicing system is ready to go. We have invoice preview. We can see and print, print out our invoices. We can track payments for our invoices. Is it late or not? So we can send reminders to our customers. So in the next lesson, we will add one more functionality is invoice sending to the customer right from these Google Sheets. So stay tuned and if you like this video please hit the like button and also leave the comment for this video if you have any questions suggestions thank you and bye